All right, welcome back to yet another learning how to edit in DaVinci through editing game clips. Today we're going to talk about playback speed because everyone loves a sick slow mo edit. Or so I'm told. I'm going to show two different ways how to do it. One is very quick and easy, and the other takes a little more work but produces a nicer result. So the first, uh, I'm going to use this clip on the left here. Just going to zoom in a bit. And you can see I've got two markers already put on this. We're going to have the idea is we want this to play at normal speed. And then when we hit the first marker, I want to slow down so that this bit here plays in slow mo. And then it returns to full speed. Easiest way to do this is to split it into three clips. So I'm going to take my razor. Okay. And then I'm going to select the clip I want to slow down. And there's a reason I moved that over. And then I am going to go change clip speed. Now I'm going to set that speed to say 33%. It's going to go from one second to three seconds. And I'm going to stretch to fit. Now, it, ripple, sequ ripple sequence also pushes the other things behind it. If you don't have ripple sequence, it will overwrite them, which is why I moved this over here. But with ripple sequence, moves it there. And, ah, you can see it moved. Now, if we just play through. And wow, yeah. Sound sounds terrible, and particularly speech sounds terrible when slowed down. So, I mean, play this again. I'm just going to mute it quickly. And, you know, it works. I don't particularly like the harsh transition from slow to fast. So the alternative way around that, we're going to slide over here to this clip, is to use something called a retime curve. So if I select my track and I right click, I get I'm looking for retime curve. Now, unfortunately, when I do that, it pulls up the retime frame first, and we want retime speed instead. Now, retime speed does have some imperfections, uh, one of which is I've got my markers placed, but once I change speed, they are going they are going to stay stationary. They're not going to move and keep track as things go. So the way I'm going to retime my curve is I'm going to click on that line and I'm going to insert a keyframe. I'm then going to go to my next spot, click on the curve again and insert a keyframe. Now this line says my playback speed. So if I want to slow it down, I just drag it down. And you can see the clip is getting longer as I decrease my speed. So now we're at 32% speed. Play the clip. And it slows down just for that and then speeds up again. Now what I don't like about this system is that it still has this harsh transition. So if I click on my little key time dot and then click this button here, I get a smooth curve. I can do the same here. And now you can see that we're going to get this nice smooth transition from normal speed to slow speed. And it just works out a little bit nicer and that little bit smoother. Now you can also use this to speed things up. So if you've got say travel time between engagements, you want to just speed up. You can just click this line and drag way up and you know so this is now up to 300 percent speed so now it's going to go from regular to one-third speed to three times speed now one thing to point out again is my markers stayed put they did not move as i did this so this marker should be over here now so that's just something to, to keep in mind when you're retiming and changing your speed of your clips is that your markers aren't going to keep up. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and uh, 
have fun making videos. Cheers, guys.